world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have utilized my blogs for three main reasons, and being that they are. Number one, share my experiences with you about what it's like for me to live with autism. Number two, give my two cents about what's going on with autism in the media. Number three, and cover topics that I am passionate about. And uh, this blog, I would like to talk about DragonCon 2014, since the event is only, surprise, surprise, 25 days away, and that means that uh, this is August 3rd, 2014, and uh, the first day of Dragon Con starts at 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, August 28th, and so I don't have a lot of time. I have a lot to get done, and I know that uh, I can't even begin to tell you what I need to do, but... I know that I need to start looking at the 2014 Dragon Con Pocket Program and start pulling together a little schedule. And then I need to write down a list of people that I would like to talk to in my blogs. And then I like to do random interviews as well. What I do know is that I'd like to talk to someone named Danger Woman. Um, she also goes by Betsy Goodrich and she herself has high functioning autism. And she's very well known around the Atlanta, Georgia area. She's been on um, a radio talk show several times. She's made several appearances. And she's well known for her song, uh, Disabled But Able to Rock. And uh, she's also known as the Songbird of Justice. But I wanted to do some blog work with her because uh, she's autistic and because uh, she's supposed to be such a strong advocate and uh, she's currently working on breaking through a barrier. Uh, but that doesn't even begin what I need to do. And then I need to find a place to crash because it's such a hassle to go from uh, the hotels all the time to uh, my house. And I mean, going back and forth can be really strenuous. And then I like to stay at Dragon Con all the time because I uh, now like to do uh, the live astronomy late at night. And that goes on for about, what, four hours? And uh, then I uh, want need to um, look at what types of food I'm going to bring to the convention. And I don't know if I'm going to run to Costco and get some uh, things or whether or not I want to go to a Walmart down the street from my house. So as you can see, there's a lot to do there. And then I need to look at... Uh, how in the world I'm going to tackle my cosplays. I was looking at dressing up as Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games since I'm passionate about the books and I like them better than the movies, but I am inspired by Jennifer Lawrence's look in The Hunger Games. I really thought that the makeup artist did a great job with her and I like that little braid going down the side of her hair. Um, let's see. What else? But... I was also looking at uh, going as um, maybe a character from Doctor Who, I don't know, Rose Tyler, uh, the TARDIS, but it looks like I'm pretty uh, short on funds, so I'm going to stick with Twilight Sparkle and Fluttershy. The only other thing I need to do is uh, run to Michael's Craft Shop and uh, get myself some craft foam so that I uh, will be able to make uh, their wings and um, possibly the ears. I have no idea how in the world I'm going to pull together Twilight Sparkle's horn. Uh, again, I was looking at uh, ordering a horn online, but I'm on a really tight budget right now. Um, even though I've seen some tutorials uh, where, you use, where you use Crayola Magic to put the horn together. Um, we'll see. Now, maybe I'll do that for Anime Weekend Atlanta show. So... Um, I look forward to seeing you at the convention, and um, if you guys would like to do some interviews with me, or if you'd like to do some demonstrations with, uh, with, a, with your own uh, life-size Dalek, or anything, I'd be willing to uh, listen to you. So, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Good night.